today from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Tyrod Taylor and the New York Giants taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, it's a Week 14 matchup that should be a good one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come into this one knowing it's been a while since tasting victory. They've dropped four in a row. Can they remember what it was like to win a game in these types of situations? You're looking for someone to inspire you, and it doesn't have to be one of your best players either. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Leading them out, someone who has overcome plenty of adversity to forge a 12-year career, former Virginia Tech Hokie, it's Tyrod Taylor. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done, but they lost. So obviously two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. The numbers for him from a week ago, 13 carries, 92 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. The Giants at 5-7 and seven now on the year. And yeah, they come into this one knowing it's been a while since they've had a W. They have dropped four in a row. Let me tell you, when you go a month, partner, in this league, without a victory, it gets tough to come to work every day. And in addition, you start to wonder about your job security as well. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now, this defense for the Eagles, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and finally... And he fires one that's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. 
But we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On second and nine, Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play action with Hurts. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Burt sets up to throw it. Oh, and this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending. Certainly did. And I remember going back to my notes before this game, and a lot of times when I scout a guy, I have a little section about how does he handle adversity. And in this case, a big check mark. He may have thrown the first interception, but I don't think he's going to throw very many more. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, a run with Breida. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Taylor. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. They're going on fourth down. It's Taylor, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Giants. fourth but come up empty and this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49 yard line the Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive they've got a three nothing lead and the football as they start first and ten and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play three nothing after one on EA Sports First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. <laughs> and 
They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. But that was actually throwing game 101 right there. You challenge double coverage like that, you're liable to get burned. Fortunate, that was just incomplete. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. Excellent placement. And off that bounce, Charles, I didn't know where it was going to go. It can be an inexact science as to where they place it, but they say the two-yard line. Yeah, I don't know how they really determined that. And let's face it, at the end of that play, one side's going to be happy, the other team's going to be unhappy. It's like, what do they do, shorten the hypotenuse? I mean, how do they figure that out? You know that stuff. You're the smart guy. Oh, that's you, Parker. 40 yards on the ground for him so far. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Newton. Has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking to throw to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Second and five now. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. A slant to Jones. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Looking middle, and that's complete. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Try to power it in with Arma. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. Throwing his hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Julio Jones with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead grows to 10-0. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And it culminates in a Julio Jones touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They can really use some momentum before they head into halftime. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy week 14. Well, we're in the latter stages of this season. Everybody's getting antsy, so antsy that we're going to skip the halftime and get ready for the third quarter. We begin with the Battle of the Lone Star State. Houston heading a few hours north to take on Dallas. And it's the Texans out in front as that one is just about to halftime. Chris Oladokun has thrown a touchdown pass. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. On first down, Hurts connecting quickly with Goddard. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the gun, here's Swift. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Once again, it's Swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Hurts. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll set up to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. As we roll on here in the month of December, week 14, coming up tonight, we got a good one in the AFC West. Get the parkas out, Kansas City and Denver from the frigid Empower Stadium at Mile High. And then tomorrow night, you can turn those parkas in for some shorts, golf polos, and flip-flops. Monday Night Football in Arizona. Patriots, Cardinals, 8:15 Eastern. A first down carry for Barkley. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Throwing is Newton. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there is no space available and incompletion as a result. They snap it to Newton. And he is going to have the Giants first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Again, Newton. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. 73 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. Newton looking to throw on third and one. Dancing to his left. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down. And I do. But let's face it. You know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Back to throw here. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. they come to the line they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports on first and ten it's hurts open man has got it the tight end now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds from the 47 it's second and five Here's the option play now to the left. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. They'll look to throw here. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. Down inside the 10. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll give him a fresh set of downs. Swift. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Alex Arma, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. They'll try to run with Swift. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. 
Well, they couldn't be happy that they were having to stop a two-point conversion because that means they gave up a touchdown. But a little solace there. You saw some good gang tackling stacking him up before he can get to the end zone. We talk about offensive units putting in more two-point period sessions in practice. Defensively, do you do the same? Absolutely. You have to because you never know how aggressive these offenses are going to be in games nowadays. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The last run got six, now second and four. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, offensively, Charles, hard to put a silver lining on this one. No secret that they had to take chances with a score where it is, and it leads to a turnover. I love how you paint the picture, partner, because you're exactly right about that one. Look at the empty stairs on that sideline. This is one of those games we just want to go crawl under a rock until it's over. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Here's Swift. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. DeAndre Swift punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles take advantage of the field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will bump the lead up to 26. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Newton now to throw. He's got this complete to Robinson. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. On first down, Newton. Catch made by Slayton. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throwing again is Newton. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. They're backed up here. Tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Under 10, under 10, 10. Throwing on third down, Newton. He finds his man. It's Robinson. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. From the red zone now, Newton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Forced out to his left. Oh, he's 
got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Giants! Lawrence Cager, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that'll make this a 19-point ball game. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. So that last kickoff, just a mere formality, obviously, Charles, wrapping up a game that they should be very happy about in which they got the win. Yeah, I thought they were clearly the better team by the end, and they earned this one with a terrific game plan and consistent effort throughout. Only fitting that they had the ball when the clock hit zero. So for the Eagles, their very slim playoff hopes remain as they move to 6-7 six and seven on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to the Windy City to take on the Bears. Meanwhile, for the Giants, it's going to all but eliminate them from the playoff picture as they fall to 5-8. and eight. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.